Thank you. There's nothing I appreciate more in listening to another person talk than the use of simple, clear language. Now, I'm a pretty simple fellow myself, and my words and sentences are pretty simple. I don't make any apologies for this either. I believe that if you've got hold of a truth, I mean if you really understand what you're talking about, then there's no need to use highfalutin language. Just the opposite. I bring this up for one reason. I want to confess right here and now that I am not always 100% successful in getting my thoughts across. The reason I know this is because some people who use the term positive thinking really haven't the vaguest notion of what it's all about. Now, it is true that I'm an optimist, and I honestly do believe that successful living involves projecting the image of the kind of person you want to be. And I know from long experience that this kind of projection really does work. But it is also true that the first rule of positive thinking is a searching analysis of the facts, which involves a frank admission of one's own weaknesses and shortcomings. After this message, I'd like to tell you about a businessman who managed to become a success by the simple device of admitting his ignorance. This businessman once said that the three most valuable words he ever learned were, I don't know. Al Young, we'll call him that, today heads one of America's fastest growing chemical companies. Every product Al makes, he thought of all by himself. It was something he thought he or his neighbors might find useful, but something that nobody else had ever made before. Very few of his friends ever thought that Al could make it in the business world because Al was a poet, and a pretty fair poet at that. And some thought because Al was always saying, I don't know, he wasn't a very smart man. Well, it turned out there was a method in his ignorance. Al trusted people, and probably on account of this, people trusted him too. When Al Young wanted to create a new product, he'd do something most of his competitors would consider utterly naive. He'd just go up to the president of a company that made one of the ingredients he'd have to use and tell him, I don't know just yet how to make this product I have in mind, but I know it can be done. With your experience, I'll bet you could give me some good ideas. Will you help me? This positive, trusting, confident approach in a highly competitive field worked miracles. Today, Al Young is president of a diversified chemical company worth well over a million dollars, all because he wasn't afraid to admit it when he didn't know what was what.